getting ready for the fries challenge. Nope. Still really bad. Oh. <laughs> wow, we're just, all right. What the, <laughs> okay. Wow, I <laughs> don't even, <laughs> oh. So bad. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Cyberlift. I need to get charged up before I start my work day. And what better chance than now to go ahead and hit this Friars Challenge again? Now, I'm pretty sure that when we select this, it's not going to be the original route because I'm pretty sure it's still got some water issues. Yeah, so this will be route version two. It's basically the same, except instead of going back down the back roads, we're going to be going down a more of a, a main street, which really isn't that bad. Now, I had a thought this morning that... Ever since we got the option, I've been running full self-driving in the assertive mode. I've had the feeling the last few times that I've done the Friars Challenge that when it comes to getting on the 163, the car just does not have enough time. And I would hope that the system would be able to you know to slow down a little bit to get over, but it's tricky. So we're gonna try something different. I'm actually gonna walk it back to average. And hopefully doing that will give it enough of a buffer to execute the proper moves. Assertive might just be a little too aggro at the moment. But there's only one way to find out, so let's get rolling. If any of you are curious and want to try this route yourself, I start around the 7-Eleven at 1602 University Avenue in San Diego. Just so that I can make sure I get onto these streets to begin the route properly. All right, we're activated. Let's see what happens. Now, hopefully with it being in the average mode rather than assertive, we'll see a little bit better execution when it comes to the harder maneuvers. All right, coming into our first corner. Oh, I almost forgot the disengagement counter. Let's get that up. All right, here we go. Well, I can feel it being a little laggy. Okay, well, <laughs> then it kicks in the butt. Got him hanging to the right. This car behind us is gonna get confused. Hope paying attention to the fact that we have our turn signal on, human. Okay, let's get this. Jeez, so bad, so bad. Average doesn't feel much different through here. Moment of truth. Come on. Nope. Still really bad. Now it won't let me. Come on. All right. Well, that's a fail already. That's without being able to complete that on ramp to the highway. The rest is kind of a moot point. So we'll go along and see how we do. Hopefully, we're still able to execute the next portion properly, which is to make sure we don't take the wrong exit onto the eight to stay on Friars Road's exit but to not go too fast to where I have to take over. All right, here we go. Next time we do this, I'll put the car in chill mode. Not literally chill mode, but chill FSD mode. All right, what you gonna do, Mew? You gonna do this right? <laughs> oh, you saw it. That was so bad. So bad. At least we're not completely disabled from autopilot, though. <sighs> Accelerating. Oh, but you caught on. Okay, good. So, at least even though we utterly failed to stay in the proper lane back there, we're at least not, you know, running around this lane a bullet. Given this variation of the route, the really the only challenging portion left is to do this like hairpin corner coming up. Really disappointing. That's uh, pretty much as bad as 10.6 and 10.5 as far as the first two parts go. 
glad it's not trying to kill me around that corner anymore. That's nice. pothole here. Eh, it's not too bad though. Okay, let's see how smooth we come through here. Really awkward spot to slow down to a stop. Big pothole! <laughs> not the car's fault. Really crappy roads in San Diego because reasons. We've gotten a lot of rain recently and I don't know. Moisture wasn't accounted for when building our roads, so everyone's going to be dodging potholes for a while. Now, normally we'd be going straight, and that left turn up there is where the car would always get wonky with sitting in two lanes. But we have to go this way because our path back there is probably still flooded pretty bad. Wow, we're just... All right. What? The... <laughs> okay. Wow. I <laughs> don't even... <laughs> Oh, so bad. You know, we're not going to get over yet because there actually is a massive pothole coming up that I've actually hit already at night, not knowing it was there. And I do not want to take that chance. Yeah, there it is. Fat pothole. Okay, now we get over. Oh, not even the regular route. Arguably an easier version of the route. And 10.8 is doing worse than it did on previous builds. Not to detect, or sorry, not to detract from the success of the one corner that it's not going too fast on, but if we're being honest, that shouldn't have been a problem to begin with. That's that's too easy a problem to be messing up. This is interesting. This is this is really the autopilot's kryptonite. It can't do it. We'll try chill next time, and we'll see how it goes. Um, as of right now, the only way I can think to basically cheese it to make it work is to control the speed. And I shouldn't have to do that. I know that I can get that 163 exit if I lock the speed at like 50 kilometers an hour or 60 kilometers an hour, because it forces the car to go slow enough to take its time to make that lane change onto the highway. But that's not realistic. And I shouldn't, in that way, I'm a handicap or I'm putting training wheels on it, uh, which yes, it is in a training mode, but it's just, that shouldn't be necessary. Oh, the flooding's actually done. Cool. So we'll resume our regular route next time. Just to the right of us is where we would come in, and that's usually covered by flowing water when it's been raining for a while. So that's good. And um, thank you for making this far. If you did, I definitely would like to hear people's feedback on uh, camera choices or angles. This time around, I went with a much more wide angle, zoomed out, approach to the internal camera let me know if you like it or if it's kind of cool i thought it provided a pretty cool aesthetic but uh i'm not doing this for me so i'd love any feedback i get about ways to improve the experience for everyone watching the videos now we're here at the charger so i'm gonna fill up and get to work maybe stumble across some cool waypoint route options um till then thank you again take care